Hey MVPs, Rico Nose here. Going to talk to you guys about future bets today. Today we're going to talk about Cal. The California Bears, they just moved over to the ACC this season. They have their over-under at six and a half wins. What I'm going to tell you guys is I like the under on this bet, and I like it probably for two units. Um, there's just no way Cal wins six and a half games or seven games. That just doesn't feel right to me moving to the ACC. I don't know what they're envisioning or what they think Cal is going to do, but when you go look at Cal's schedule, before I get to their schedule, let's talk about their players real quick. In the transfer portal, I don't think they lost anybody. When you look at transfers going out, I don't think they lost anybody of consequence except for Jeremiah Hunter, their leading receiver, star wide receiver. He left to go to Washington, right? Leaving, losing a guy like Sam Jackson. He was a backup quarterback. He wasn't going to be the starter anymore. Not a big deal. Losing Earlham Zora, I apologize. He, this is significant. One of their best leading tacklers on defense going to TCU. So you lose two studs, Orr and Hunter. The rest of these guys are not of consequence, probably not FBS caliber players. Not a real big deal. When you go look at who they gain this offseason outside of new recruits, the gains, Jonathan Brady, Brady was just a very decent player for New Mexico State, one of their leading receivers, but nothing to say this guy's remarkable. At the same time, he plays the same position as Mikey Matthews. They really are. They're the same guy, the same size, kind of same build, same game. And I love Mikey Matthews coming over from, from um, Utah. But replacing a guy like Hunter, it just doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel like they got an upgrade at wide receiver. I think they took a step back at wide receiver. Kadarius Callaway, if you go to 24-7 sports, they're going to tell you he's a four-star running back. They're going to tell you he's great because he used to play at Alabama. All, I think he's a bust and a half. Was that ODU? Split in time. Wasn't even the greatest running back. Despite all the stats and all the yards per carry and all that, like, go watch the film. This guy got his yards in three games against scrub-ass teams. I mean, the worst teams. You take that out, he was averaging three yards a carry. I think he's a backup running back, obviously, to Jaden Ott. I just don't think he's any good. Um, this feels very underwhelming to me. Tobias Merriweather coming over from Notre Dame. Yes, he's a wide receiver at Notre Dame. That's the worst receiver core you've seen around, and it didn't get it done. I'm not impressed with these with these gains. I like Rush Reamer here from, from FCS going to the offensive line. They need that help. I like Marcus Harris from Idaho. Very good players when I turn on the tape. And obviously, the gem of their class is Chandler Rogers. They brought him over to be their quarterback because they didn't trust Fernando Mendoza. Now, I think Rogers is a product of a great system at North Texas. Shout out to Eric Morris coming over to Cal. I don't think he's that much of an upgrade talent-wise. He's going to take care of the ball. But I don't really see him being worlds better than what they already have on their roster. So, did Cal really improve this offseason? Did they just kind of plug the hole with like a cork, you know, in the old school cartoons? So, when I go look at their schedule, Opening the season with UC Davis. I love UC Davis, by the way. But I think Cal wins that game, obviously, at home in, in dominating fashion. Then you've got to go to Auburn. I don't see Cal winning that game. No. They're going to lose at Auburn. They're going to beat San Diego State. They're losing at Florida State. And that's pretty rough. You get a week off to, to clean your wounds. And then you got to play Miami at home. I don't think you're beating Miami. So, at this point, you have two wins. Do you think they're better than Pitt? If you do, then congratulations. you got them winning three games. They're not better than NC State. They're not better than Oregon State. But if you have them beat in Oregon State, then you got them at four wins and you're feeling pretty good. Then we get to Wake Forest. They're better than Wake Forest. That's five wins. Are they better than a resurgence at Syracuse? I don't know. That's six wins, if you believe that. Are they better than Stanford? That's a coin flip. I like Stanford's recruiting class, and I like what Stanford's doing. I like Stanford's coach. Let's be clear. So if you think they're better than Stanford, then you got your bet. But I don't think they're beating SMU. SMU's got a better trajectory. SMU has a better roster. SMU will probably be top 25 at some point during the season. I actually don't see them beating Pitt. I don't see them winning some of these games. I don't see them going out there and beating Oregon State. So when I look at it, from my perspective, I got one, two, maybe three, four wins. And then over here, all these coin flips you're hoping for in, in November, you better hope they win four games in a row. I don't see it, guys. I think the wheels fall off a little bit. Injuries hurt them. I think they're going to lose their coach. Wilcox will be fired soon. I just think this team's going to fall apart. That's how I feel about it. I don't think Cal gets the seven wins, which is what they would have to get to to hit this bet. Seven wins for Cal? Not in the ACC. I see them struggling. And if I'm wrong, well, then we missed. But I don't, I don't think I'm wrong. I think we're going to hit on these futures bets probably a hell of a lot more than we do on the spread because these are just money line guesses, right? And my money line assessments in the preseason can be somewhat accurate. Uh, I would say pretty damn accurate. But every now and then you get a team completely wrong. I don't think I'm going to get Cal completely wrong. I think Cal's an under 
And I think it's two units. Your friends don't know, but Rico knows. Good luck, y'all.